I'm Army Vet, and welcome to the Swordsman Guide for Star Wars Galaxies EMU. I'm going to be showing you the basics of getting your character from Novice Swordsman, or Two-Handed, all the way to Master, and a short guide on the weapons you want to start collecting once you're done. Remember to hit the like button, the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment because it will help the channel grow, and as always, enjoy the video. To start off, you're going to need a Two-Handed Curved Sword as your weapon. You will gain the certification for this in the second box of the Two-Handed Tree and the Brawler Profession. You can check that guide out in the link in the upper right hand corner of this video. So for the Two-Handed Curved Sword, buy the best one you can find because you're going to use it for the entire grind of the Swordsman Profession. The better it is, the faster the leveling process will go. For the very first layer and first couple of fumbas you're going to fight, you're going to use the Two-Handed Hit. This is going to be faster than doing the spin attack one, trust me. There are going to be two attacks you're going to use for 99% of this grind. Spin attack one and spin attack two. Spin attack one you gain in the brawler two-handed fatal finesse box. And the spin attack two is in the intermediate sword defense box. Yes, I don't understand why it's in a defensive box, but it is. You're going to go up the defensive line first for spin attack 2 as well as counter attack and your defenses. Next you're going to go up the sword technique line for weapon speed. And finally, the sword offensive line, which really doesn't give you much offense at all, believe it or not. Sword finesse will come as you get the others through combat. Sword finesse will come as you get through the other boxes, because it is combat XP and you get a percentage of combat XP for regular XP. And this is where you're going to get your real offensive power and two-handed melee accuracy. Alright, let's talk some options here while we're grinding away. Get some clothes with bioengineered enhancements for stun and melee defense and intimidation and warcry bonuses. 
be aware that the highest that each of these bonuses can accumulate to is 25. Even though it will let up higher, it will only count to 25. So if it's a 30, it only counts to 25. So don't waste your money getting anything higher. Okay, let's talk about creatures to kill. No matter what planet you go to, the class level is always gonna give you the same amount of XP. So for example, you start on Naboo and you fight Fumbas. Okay, you get, say, well, for say, argument's sake, we'll say 15,000 XP. If you go to, say, Rory and you fight Tortons, they're the same class level, you're gonna get 15,000 XP. You go to Corellia, you fight a Sharnaf, which is the same class level, you also get 15,000 XP. So it doesn't matter what planet you start on, whichever one you want is the right one to go with.
And that's that. You are now a master swordsman. Wasn't too difficult, was it? Actually, it's very quick. You can usually do this all in one buff session. And a buff session on Sentinels Republic is three hours. I can usually get it done in two to two and a half. Okay, let's talk about the fun stuff, the weapons. Two-handed must-haves. For almost all PvE, there are three weapons you're going to want to have. A two-handed curved sword, a necrotic sword, and the go-to power hammer. The first you should buy is the curved sword. These are very easy to make and there should be a ton on the bazaar to choose from. Just be careful of those weapons that are too good to be true. Scroll down in the description and make sure there isn't a power-up attached to it. It's an old scan to make weapons look way more powerful than they are and tricking you into paying a ton more credits than they're actually worth. Second up is the power hammer. This is going to be your go-to weapon for almost all situations where NPCs and creatures have low blast resists, which is most of the time. There are very few that have a high blast resist. If you're going to get one, I would suggest getting with a weaponsmith and having one built. Most of the power hammers on the bazaar are mid-range and damage, and the good ones are usually held in reserve for their own personal use. Number three on the list is a server-specific weapon. If you play on Sentinels Republic, you can loot a schematic for a corrosive sickle. This is an acid damage two-handed sword. It's a great toy to have if you can find one. And I would say, if you do, buy it. However, if you can't find one on the bazaar, I wouldn't sweat it. Most people grind swordsmen as a defensive stacker and will use power hammers. So you're not going to see too many on the bazaar. So you might have to get with a weaponsmith and have one built. It's worth the time to get one of these if you can. As a side note, they drop off the world boss and world bosses are usually done on Thursdays. Okay, that wraps up just about everything you need to know to get started as a Master Swordsman. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment because it will help the channel grow. And as always, have a great day.